Steve. Yes, Mark, old chap. Hey, hey, hey. nice to meet you. Uh, my uh, pleasure to meet you, old chap. Uh, we just met a little bit ago. We I, met uh, eight minutes ago, maybe. Eight, eight minutes ago. Uh, you asked me to wa watch your cart for a second. Right, and now I'm going to give you some time right here. Well, right. It was a good, good barter, good barter. No, I, 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 that's a fair exchange, it seems to me, sir. No. Now, now you, you're, you're just saying something that you learned something about women. No, I didn't say that, sir. Now, you're misquoting me, so you're disappointing me. I didn't say I learned something about women. I realized that all along. That you do not have to look like Cary Grant, Errol Flynn, or Paul Newman in order to get a beautiful woman. Right. I'm going to test that theory. I love it. Gonna, That's I'm gonna true. Hold you to it. Uh, that gives me great respect for females. If you're a decent guy and have a job, not like right now, I'm hardly in a position to, uh, I wouldn't, I'd be ashamed to uh, meet up, up with a woman. Though they smile at me, even though uh, they, this gives me respect for these women, because yeah. they see I'm pushing a shopping cart, which is evidence of picking up cans and bottles, and that I'm homeless, but they still smile at me and say hello. So I say, my God, imagine if I really well, I'm did gonna, something. I'm gonna pan, I, pan a second to show the... Whatever the word pan means, you see, this is, technology is foreign to me. Well, I'm a nature boy, right. So how, you've been, you told me you were out here nine months home. Precisely nine months, right, July. I mean, this is, the middle, this is the middle of Hollywood and you sleep around the corner, I mean. I sleep right across the street, sir, across the Mel's in that uh, it's a hideous looking uh, alley. But it's not bad because the people are so nice. Right. So you sleep outside in an alley? Uh, senor, I spend, I would dare say, 23 and a half hours out of a day out of doors, right? Wow. The only time I'm indoors is when I'm buying uh, tobacco or alcohol. But wow. I exercise every night. I've kept myself in shape. But, and I came here to sell a screenplay, which I do have in the bottom of my I didn't come here empty handed, you see. Right. But, now, what's your screenplay on? My screenplay is titled The Late Bloomer. I expect it to be greeted well. As oh. soon as I take, uh, say, I came here without a clue how to sell it. It turns out selling it is harder than uh, writing oh, it. You're, you're right outside of Jimmy Kimball. This is where Jimmy Kimball is. But he has nothing to do with screenplays. I came to the right well, place. The uh, I Hollywood. am in Hollywood. Right, this is the right place. It'll happen soon. Right. It'll happen. I'm a patient man. So how do you survive? What's a day like? How do I survive? Uh, I wake up in the morning, uh, way before 6, but I really don't get started till about 6.30. And then I start pushing a cart in search of uh, aluminum cans, plastic bottles, and glass, and ho uh, hope to make enough money for beer and cigarettes. I eat food entirely out of dumpsters. That's where you caught me coming out of here. The Baja Fresh Dumpster. God. Yeah, but I'm a tough son of a bitch. I'll be, I wouldn't be able to do this. Right. So, what's the future going to be like? Ah, uh, senor, uh, do you, have you got a crystal ball? <laughs> Wish what's I did. What's the future going to be like? I mean, Wish that's I a did. foolish question, senor. That doesn't belong in your doc. What's the future going to be like? Right. Well, this is raw, unedited. So what you say goes out there. What I, right. I what is the future going to be like? Jesus Christ almighty, what kind of a question is that? Well, you see, I already have enough, a little start toward tomorrow. Plus, I have uh, a lot of beer on me. I was able to buy it at a low price. Plus, I have $8 in my pocket, so I feel rich, actually, right now. But you have $8, and that makes you feel rich. Comparatively speaking, old chap, right. I was what? never interested in gain. I'm from the Hamptons, by the way, right, yeah. where my sister lives, yeah. where you, the people are richer than in Malibu. You, well, you ever you hear got, of the Hamptons? You, oh, yeah, you got You me. ever hear of the Hamptons? Of course. The beachfront it's... homes that sell for 30 and 40 million? Right. Yeah. All right, sir. So, comparatively speaking, uh, yeah, I, I so do. So, how did you uh, end up on the streets? How did you... Uh, I, I, I'm going to uh, answer that by giving a qu uh, uh, an answer that no one you're going to interview is, is ever going to give this answer. I ended up on the streets because I have the worst disease in the world. And what is that? I'm a romantic. I only wanted to be a writer. And I'm, by, by God, I'll be a writer living on the streets. Then I'll be able to really prove to the world. 
Writing is extraordinarily difficult, first of all, and under the circumstances that I'm living in, I'm, I, I have written something that is very worthwhile. Have you ever read any f screenplays yourself, sir? Yes. Yeah, or well, name the last one you've read. I can't. <laughs> I you can't. see, I keep asking these people. Right. Most people are full of shit when it comes to this. You watch movies, but you haven't read the screenplay. I do both. Right. I, well, I'll be real with you. I haven't read a screenplay in probably 14, 15 years. Right. So you don't know anything about screenplays. I, I got a good that. one right in here. I wouldn't have come out here if I didn't have a good one. I'm so, confident. I've been trying to write for decades no, while no. holding odd jobs, mostly supermarket stock clerk jobs. And then uh, I was a motel uh, manager in Vegas. Then the place closed down and I was on the streets for two and a half years, then I came here. So I've been on the streets for almost three and a half years, actually. So what's uh, your view of homelessness? If you're a romantic, what's your view of, of homelessness? Well, uh, you can have, you know, it's never it comes down to one thing. Right. Any answer to any question is always a combination of things. So one, I look at it as I look, uh, I do, uh, I'm gonna do 900 push-ups in about an hour from now. So my view, I treat it like an athletic feat. I'm going to show that homeless is tough, but I'm tougher. This is when, when I lost that job because the place closed down in Vegas, the guy goes, what are you going to do now? And I said, uh, this is four years ago. He goes, what are you going to do now? I said, I'm going to camp out. And he goes, this was winter, February. Wow. He goes, uh, winter is tough. And my answer was, which I love, I'm a natural dramatist. Uh, winter is tough, but I'm tougher, and I've proved it. Right. You got, you got 10, so I look this uh, as a uh, as a uh, a uh, as a way to show how tough I am, which I've proven. I'm not 18 years old. I'm 58 fucking years old, dude. <laughs> and I'm not built like Governor Schwarzenegger either. I'm tough. I wanted to prove I'm tough, and to be a writer, you have to be tough also. Yeah, you got 15 seconds, 15, 30 seconds. Well, well you're not how giving me any. Jesus Christ, that's up to you, brother. Well, well how, how do you want, how, what, what's your last words? What would you like to say? Uh, my last words is that I feel very privileged to have the feeling that no matter how bad things are on the outside, and they are bad for me right now, I had the best parents, the best job opportunities, women, I still love being alive. That's my last statement, right? I don't give a fuck how bad it is, and it is bad now, but I'll improve it shortly. I love being alive. I'm thankful for being alive, and I love these blue skies in Southern California and all the pretty girls. Right, so I'm glad to be here, and you see I ain't exactly flourishing, but I can handle it. I'll, I'll flourish soon. Thank you. you. You've been a real encouragement to me. Well, it was my pleasure to meet you, old chap, right. And great luck with your endeavor here.